Welcome back to our channel. Guys, these chickens are ready to go. Hi, I'm Rainy. And I'm Lynette. In 2021, we made the decision to sell our home in the East Bay and relocate to the foothills of California. Join us in our journey living the foothill life. This is Pasty Bud. He or she, we're still not 100% sure yet, is a Polish chicken. This is Big Red. Say hi, Big Red. And the rest of the girls are in here. And they are just going crazy. Eh, they might not look like it right now, but they are. They're ready to go. They're ready to be out. They're excited. So let's head on over there and get that chicken coop and run all set up so we can make it happen for them. Okay, we're back at the chicken coop. The cinder blocks here, Rainy just informed me that she already glued them down. So now we just need to cut the 4x4s to fit in there and that will be the bench. She has already laid down some peat moss for the chickens. She, I believe, is experimenting with these uh, two by two pieces of wood just to see if they like something like that and then maybe we'll upgrade it or make them longer somewhere else. We'll, we'll see how it goes. And then right here, she also made these feeding tubes. So basically the top lid comes off and you just fill it up with their chicken feed might be a little high for them right now so we might have to make a little step or something for them to be able to get in there and eat. She also put up this temporary blocker here to the nesting beds until they're ready to start laying eggs because they don't want to go in there and think it's home. They need to learn that that's for laying eggs. Still have to put down some shavings here. Up there. I don't know if you can see because of the lighting it's so bright out but their nesting boxes are ready for them when they're ready to make little eggs all right check it out so <clears throat> we bought this cover that's for a dog kennel it's the closest thing that we could find that would fit this without having to build a roof of some sort but it looks like it's going to work out pretty good yeah it's not a perfect fit but we knew that but hey, at least the chickens will be pretty shaded. You can see how shaded it is. So let's go get the chickens and give them a little playtime and see what they think. So Rainy learned from some other YouTubers that they put peat moss down. But she's a little concerned with all the dust because chickens can have respiratory issues. So she's going to put down some um, pine shavings, which is something else that they're used to. That'll help keep the dust down and a little, give her a little peace of mind. John, my, I've got a pinch nerve in my shoulder. It's starting to mess. Getting there. Almost covered. Okay, so we got a little layer of the uh, pine shavings down. And now Rainy's gonna make them a little dust bath. She's already got the container back there. And she does, uh, would you would you already dump in there? Just a dust bath and I put diatomaceous earth in it. It probably has it in there already. <laughs> All right, it's ready. Now let's go get the chickens. Give them a trial run. All right, girls, ready to go check out your new house, your chicken big mansion? Let's go. Come on, Daisy.
Come on, come on, come out. Come on. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on, come on babies, on. who's gonna be first one? Come on, Red. There you go. There you Ooh, go. Yeah. Come on. Come on, come on. Come on girls. Come on, Beastie Butt. Your freeze bird. Let's go. Woohoo! Yay! Come on out. There you go. Come on. Come on, Becky. Huh? Come on, Becky. Is that it? You girls crazy. like your new home? It's wind. I've never felt wind before. What's going on? What are you guys doing, huh? Oh, check it out. There's more. There's more to this McChick Mansion. McChicken Mansion. Get up there, Pacey. Go climb it. Go check it out up there. You guys are so cute. You guys are going to be so happy out here. Get some water. <laughs> I love your frill, dude. Hi, Red. <laughs> We're going to leave them here. This is not going to be a trail run. I think they're going to be happy out here. It's not too hot. Well, it's in the 80s, but it'll be in the 70s tonight. Play date has turned into a move-in. I think they're going to be a lot happier out here than inside that yeah. <laughs> so much more room to run around, kick around. Yeah. Got a nice breeze. I got a big mansion. Chicken McMansion. I'm sure we'll add things to it as time goes by. Oh, speaking of adding things, we got signs to put up. Yeah. Let's do that. All right, so Lynette's going to be hanging some signs up while I relax. Mm -hmm. Is that centered? Over, looks, their, over their door opening? Looks under to me. It's called the hen house. And possibly one rooster. Yeah. We don't know yet, but he sure she sure is acting like a rooster. Hey, what do I do with the other screws? There's their house inside. Maybe you put them in your pocket. Yeah. Here they are, they're all happy, they're getting acclimated. They found their food. They're doing what chickens house. do. Welcome to the hen house. We have some other cute little signs to hang up. It doesn't require a screw to Did you get all the screws in already? Yeah, that's four. Quick. I don't know if you can see them. They're under the camera. Um, what do you call that thing? Tripod. Tripod. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's nine of you. How's all my baby girls doing? Well, the chicken coop has been a hit. It's the same day. Sun's getting ready to set. We got to show these girls where bed is. We showed them once already, but now we need to really show them where bed is and close it up for the night and come let them out in the morning. Good night, girls. Okay, Rainy got the uh, 4x4s cut for our bench. And just like that, voila, we have a bench so we can sit out here and stare at our little chickens. How's it feel? What's up, little chicken nuggets? It's so bright I can't. Hopefully you can see them. Dirty their water again. You cannot keep that clean from it. They're so happy in their new little coop and run. Where's Pasty Butt? She's right over there, or he. Where? Back at the back wall. All right, one of Lynette's little projects she's doing today while I'm making the watering system for the baby chickens, our little nuggets. She's painting this little, uh, I guess the ductwork uh, cover for our mini slip. It's just a, a primed metal, so she's painting it our house color so it doesn't stand out so much. You having fun? Oh, fun. Looks like you're leaning over a lot. You're not going to fall, are you? Well, it's because of the uh, condensers right there. Uh, and I'm a shorty. Shorty. So, three more to do after this. <laughs> 
All right, what you got there? This is the watering system. For the chickens? For the chicks. So this is gonna get it fastened to the fence right here. This is where the hose is gonna go in. I'm gonna be screwing in these little cups. It still has to be glued, huh? Yeah, everything has to be glued. I'll be screwing in these red cups in here. Nice. And then this will be the drain. Well, if I have to ever flush it out, this will be the drain plug. Cool. That's it. That's simple. Hi, girls. Get the What's chickens. Up? So Rainy's got the their little drinking station assembled. She just has to cut some holes out through the hardware cloth so that the PVC piping can go through. And then it's going to be connected to this drum over here. Now Rainy's attaching it with zip ties. Okay, I have two more to paint. Here's the before and the after. It's so hot today, so we're gonna do some work here on the coop. We got a mister to keep help keep them cool and a shade to put off the back to help not only keep their water cool, but just more shade. We don't want to close off that back wall because they do get a nice breeze. When they don't get a breeze or it's too hot, we're also going to mount this fan up in the corner so we can give them more airflow. So Rainy's going to attempt to insert this board up here. And then we'll mount the fan from the ceiling and that way we could turn it on if it ever just gets just too hot when they need extra breeze. But this area that the chicken coop is in has a pretty good breeze. I feel it right now and it's really hot outside. Got it. Okay, we got the fan rigged up. Now we need to work on their mister and the awning that's gonna go cover their water back here. <laughs> Get it, girls. It's just a new toy. They're like, what the heck? Go smell it and try to figure it out. Mm -hmm. You know who'll be the first one. Pasty butt? Oh, they smell them. I'm trying to teach them that this is going to be their new feeder. Put some millworms in there. Oh, yeah. You girls are smart. Get it, Pacey. Do it. There you go. All right, so now we have this Mr. Lion. Got this off of Amazon. We're going to put it right there. Just a little, a what, five foot section? By the fan. A little five foot section by the fan. Hopefully it'll keep cool. them off. Yeah. Misters are on. I don't feel it here in the coop. I think they just need to be angled more this way. Oh, I feel um, the air is much cooler right here. I don't feel the water though, but the air is cooler. What do you girls think? Does it feel better? You move something around and they just love to dig and pick and scratch. It's cooler, but you don't feel it. All right, so now we're going to put this triangle shade cover in this area and have it cover the water and their 
garbage can of food. It'll provide a little more shade over their coop as well. So let's do it. Let's do it. So what am I attaching to? Um, like Somewhere just right here? inside up a little bit. With one of these? Yeah. Maybe even on that back side. You want to talk about way up there? Back here? Yeah, can you get your hands up there? It's really tight. Can you get your tiny little hand in there? Oh, it's really tight. But then you got it caught. It's a cut on. Well, the corner. Oh, it's fine. A little bit like. Yeah, but. So Randy went to get a ladder. We need to attach that nice and tight to the greenhouse to lift that up, but it's already, you can, I don't know if you can tell because it's so bright out. It's already provided a lot more shade, not only for the chickens, but like I said, their water source and their container of food. And a little more shade to the coop. They don't go in there too much during the day, just at night, so they should be fine. All right, there it is. It's about the best we can get it up what we have to work with <laughs> but <laughs> but it's it's providing a lot of shade like I said for their water bucket and their food bucket so look, is it cooler rainy yeah and that'll help also not only keep the water bucket cool but then the Sun won't be on their little watering system down there that rain rainy made for them yeah so this little buckets there. There are cups of water. Well, they're dirty now. Don't judge. And you can tell they're enjoying their <laughs> new adult feeders. Not that they're on it Especially right now. Especially when you put worms in it. <laughs> but they uh, are making a mess. Well, that's it for this video. We hope you enjoyed it. We're going to enjoy the rest of the day. Enjoying our beautiful, beautiful view behind us. It's really, really hot. Super duper hot. Thanks for watching. Thank you. See you next Sunday.